Back two years coaching, two state championships. Not bad. Not bad at all. Kevin Brisker will be going up against another experienced wrestler who has also some state place credentials. B.J. Miller of North Iowa Buffalo Center, coached by Scott Shetter. He's 33 and one this year. And Lisbon is in the black. The red anklets, the, the red bands, and the light blue is B.J. Miller of North Iowa Buffalo Center. Two Coach minutes by Scott period. Shetter. Gene Luttrell is the official here. He's the referee. Kevin Brisker. The two-way match is between Corey Christensen going for number three. We'll watch that. Winner set. And Brad Horton of Norwalk. And the 3A match, Mark White of West Des Moines Dowling and Jason Francis of Dubuque Wallard. We'll keep track of those as we go, too. But Kevin Brisker got the first takedown here. Move up, move up, don't stay down there. In the 1A match over B.J. Miller. Brisker's been here before also. He was fourth, time. fourth at uh, 135 last year and Miller was fifth last year at 135 at the 2A class Brisker's coming off uh, a late start this year due to a broken foot and ending up his uh, rest of the regular season undefeated so he uh, has come on his takedown oh he shifts gears there real nicely he switched off went to his left little duck on the mat and came around for uh, Two points. And he's hanging in there tough on top. Kevin Brisker. Lisbon has clinched the 1A title. They still have another wrestler to go, Tate Stamp, at 189 pounds. Even though they lost their top-ranked man at the heavyweight, too, uh, and Ike Light, they had plenty to win this title. B.J. Miller trying to come out, not getting the job done against Brisker. There's Chris Lembick right there. That's Chris. He did his high school in wrestling in Minnesota. Yep, came down to the University of Northern Iowa, was an All-American, and uh, came up to Lisbon from southwest Missouri, where he's with John Creed, former high school wrestler in Iowa and wrestler for Northern Iowa. And now he's settled in at that high school in Lisbon that uh, made famous by Al Baxter and two Brad makes it two to one and Miller got it on that bear hug and came around and, and he's now up three to two, two. Close. Three. and he's tilting yep. Brisker for points boy you can strike just like lightning there's so many things that can happen two point near fall a four point move for Miller of North Iowa Buffalo Center five two right here he drives him down, but then he immediately loads him up right here. Watch. He's got the wrist trapped on the far side. He's got his hips loaded up on his, and he's tilting him past 45 degrees for three seconds and gets two points. Miller confident on his feet. Let's Brisker go. Now it's 5-3 in favor of Miller. And here comes Miller again on the high leg. Attacking right on the high leg, like you said. Now he just has to dump down and drive across the hip. See, he needs to drive through. He can't let Brisker come back into him. He's got to drive through, get his hips in action. Switches off to the double. Yep, there's looking two. better. Two, and he got the takedown. 7-3, boy. He, got, he lost the first takedown, but he's been in there ever since. 6-3 is the score. In the second period. There's Scott Shetter they sat from uh, three. North Iowa and former Eagle Grove high school wrestler in the 70s and wrestled for Wartburg. Six to three, takedown. Second takedown by B.J. Miller, put him up by three points with a half a minute to go in the second period. 
I gave earlier Miller a point he didn't have because the period had changed. We're in the second period now instead of the first. And he had no escape. He's trying to tilt Brisker again. B.J. Miller. Yeah, he's done a job here in the last several minutes of really controlling the match against Brisker. He's only a junior. He's already been in the state as a freshman, sophomore, and junior. So, you know, B.J. Miller's had some tough matches here in this tournament. He, he won a one-point first-round victory over Terry Manny of Tipton. Uh, there's a, this is a 3A. You're looking at the pin up there. Possibly Jason Francis of Dubuque Wallard is the man on top over Mark White of Dowling with about uh, 20 seconds to go in the second period. And Francis is leading 10 to 7 before this, this situation. And in the main match here, you're seeing B.J. Miller leading 6 to 3 over Brisker of Lisbon. And well, controlling Miller, Brisker on top right until that point. Well, if Miller comes back into the hips here and controls him, Brisker won't get him. If Brisker can scoot, if he can scoot, but he doesn't. And you see, end of the period. Whenever it gets in a little bit of trouble, uh, B.J. Miller just drops back down and attacks the hips. And we talk so much about the hips. And we know that's where the power comes from. You get your hips underneath you. Those are the big muscles, you know? You get those in, that's your power. If you can take it away from your opponent, you take away his power. Keep it in now, keep that on in. In this position, right here, Miller so he's gonna cast over. Miller doesn't want to get caught to where Brisker can scoot. Well, he can't scoot now. Six to three lead for Miller. Needs to drive across here. Miller controlling two to one. Might tell you too that Corey Christensen going for a third championship at the two A mat is trailing with just a couple of seconds left in the second period, two to one. An impossible pin in three A again, and we've got uh, Francis having White in trouble again. They stopped the match for some reason. Brister There's a reversal, a reversal by Brisker. And now the Lisbon young man is back in the match again. Trailing by one with 50 seconds to go, not trailing by two as he comes out. It's five, seven to five, six, six, three, six, three. Because he got that um, six, five. Bring it back to middle, guys. Let's not play. seven, five. Let's go, let's go. I was right the first time. <laughs> Was, Doug, you're right. You're somebody's keeping the slow. right score. It's the That's scoreboard right. over They're there. They're a little slow is all. Lembeck uh, sending some encouragement to Brisker. And Miller leads by two with a half a minute to go. Those two-point tilt. Miller on the leg. That oh, early, those are early back points were real big. I don't know about you, TJ, but I'm having fun. This is, I don't know what it is, but I think <laughs> it's one of the best finals that we've had in a long time. I am having a lot of fun. These kids are really getting after it. They are. And it's a two-point match here with 10 seconds to go. Brisker needs two points, oh! and he had to do he that. He had to try. And he went on his back instead, and it's going to be B.J. Miller's championship here. A three-point near fall. It's 10 to 5. Or actually, 12 to 5 with the takedown. First loss for Kevin Brisker after going 33 and 0. And a 34 in one year, and a state championship from B.J. Miller. He's having fun. He sure is. B.J. Miller of North Iowa Buffalo Center. We still have a minute and 10 seconds to go in this two-way match, and Ooh, it's a good it's one. a burn barn burner. Two-two. Corey Christensen of Winterset. Corey Christensen of Winterset, who is in the black, is going for his third championship, and he just got a takedown to take the lead four to two. Well, Horton's really giving him Brad a tough Horton. match. I'll tell you, Horton is 33 and three, and this is his first time at the state tournament. He placed eighth at the nationals last year. This is game competition for Corey Christensen. He's had to earn his third state championship if he, and he doesn't it. have it yet. He no. has 35 seconds to go, and He's uh, to earn every point. Corey Christensen, Horton only a junior from Norwalk. Corey and uh, Brad Horton have wrestled three times before, and the last match ended six to four for Corey. So they're just picking up where they left off. 17 seconds to go here, and a 5-2 lead, 5-3 lead. 
A 5-3 lead is the way the scoreboard now has it for Corey Christensen, who we mentioned earlier is coached by his dad, Gary Christensen. I don't suppose he's a little nervous, do you? <laughs> well, I don't know. I, I think he was more nervous than sophomore year when they won the first one. He tells me he's not nervous, but, you know. You believe that. I have a bridge out here I'm going to sell you. <laughs> Larry Blaker of Perry is the referee here. Now with five seconds to go, Horton is making a last flurry, but it will not be enough. And there are three titles for Corey Christensen. Hard fought, but he got him. One, two, three. Can't take him away. He's one of the few three-time state champions in, the, in our state history. And Brad Horton, first thing he did was go over and congratulate Gary Christensen, Corey Christensen's coach. Wayne take dirt right here. There's the, there it was, the reversal. Just a scramble. Let's go to the awards at one point. Fourth place, Jeff Johnson, Rock Rapids Central Lion. Third place, Casey Christensen, Riceville. Runner-up, Kevin Brisker, Lisbon. And the 1A 145-pound champion from Buffalo Center, North Iowa, B.J. Miller. B.J. Miller. He had a big five-point move at the end of his match against Kevin Brisker. And won it 12 to 5. Championship for B.J. Miller. Up onto the stand come the six, who were the top placers at 2A, 145 pounds. Minus 2A, 145 pound awards. Coach Gary Christensen of Winterset. Sixth place, Nate Smith, Britt, West Hancock. Fifth place, Lyle Hannes, Fairfield. Fourth place, Travis Holm, Osage. Third place, Dave McAllister, Washington. Runner-up, Brad Horton, Norwalk. And the 2A 145-pound champion from Winterset, Corey Christensen. A three-time champion. And it wasn't easy. He got a takedown in the last minute to win his third championship against Mr. Horton. But he is a, joins an exclusive group, three-time state champions in the state of Iowa. 3A 